welcome back to another great day at On Earth As In Heaven, BBS. Yesterday, Sage seemed a little worried about whether God's phone needed to charge. I hope Sage is feeling better today. And here they are now. Hi, Sage. Hi. Sage, you look worried. What's wrong? Well, today we are praying for God's kingdom to come. I've been thinking about this God's kingdom thing, and I've got a question. If it's a kingdom, and kings are boys, is everyone allowed? Of course everyone is allowed. And not just allowed, but welcomed, encouraged, wanted. What makes you ask? There are these kids that I know, and they can be kind of mean sometimes. They love to play kingdom and say kings are boys, so only boys can be in a kingdom, and I just don't know how I feel about that. I feel kind of sad for them. Think of all the amazing people they're missing out on being friends with. Yeah, but still, it's called a kingdom. We pray for God's kingdom to come. What if you're not a boy? That's more of a word problem than it is a God problem, I think. There isn't really a good word for what we're describing. We call it a kingdom, but it's more like a place where people follow God and love each other. And it's definitely for everyone. Are you sure? Because the apostles were all boys. At least they all had boy names. They did, that's true. But there were other disciples of Jesus who also had important jobs to do. Have you heard of Mary Magdalene? Mary Magdalene, wasn't she the one who went to Jesus's tomb after he died and an angel told her he wasn't there because he'd been raised? She was, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary. And do you remember what the angel told them to do? No. The angel told them to go and tell the other disciples that Jesus had been raised. And while they were going to do that, Jesus met them and they worshiped him. Wow, so Mary Magdalene and the other Mary were the first to see Jesus alive again? They were the first people to spread the good news that Jesus was alive to the world? That's right. And there are lots of other women like that in the Bible. Women like Esther, who saved God's people from a bad king. Or Ruth, who stuck by her mother-in-law when she was in need. Or Dorcas and Tabitha, two leaders of the early church. God uses everyone to do God's work. What matters to God is that you are you and that you have gifts and skills that are unique and important in the world. So everyone has a part to play and anyone is welcome? Yep, everyone is welcome and everyone can join and everyone can even lead. That's great. I can't wait to learn how God is going to use me today. Let's pray. Good and gracious God, thank you for another chance to have fun, make new friends, and learn about your love for us and the world. Help us to see you in everyone we meet. Amen.